Hello. Welcome to your appointment. What I wanted to talk to you about today was trains of thought. I know that even within our own minds, we can often find cruelty, that our brains can be mean, and that throughout our day to day, they can whisper little things that are terribly, terribly untrue. Oh no, you did that wrong. Oh no, you've made them mad. Oh no, you shouldn't speak up. Things like that. It's really hard to fight those kinds of thoughts because I can't be with you always. But I've thought of a solution, at least for a temporary sort of reprieve. I'm going to come with you today for a time. You see, being an empath as I am, I have certain empathic abilities. One of these is the ability to change my shape based on the needs of my patient. My patient in this case being you. Now, I know you prefer me being this, enormous, able to enfold and hold you completely and utterly within my coils. <laughs> but we can do that when we get back. Hmm? For now, I think what I need to be is small, close, nearby. I could drape over your shoulders or fit into a pocket or a purse or a backpack, slither out when need be and whisper reassurances when I feel those thoughts. Be a little angel on your shoulder, <laughs> for lack of a better word. Now, this is not a permanent solution. I don't want you to become dependent on me. I want you to be self-sufficient. I want you to internalize these sorts of things. I want you to find the inner strength through all the darkness in your mind to quiet those thoughts on your own when you can. But for today, I'm going to come with you and I'm going to help. So, to start, I'm just going to brace some of my coils against you. Just feel them gently combing against the back of your legs tugging you a bit closer. I notice sometimes you stand a little farther away from me than you'd like to. I think that's part of those anxieties. Oh no, I don't want to annoy him. Oh no, I don't want to seem weird. Those are the exact sorts of things I want to combat, so come a little closer, darling. I want you to, when those thoughts come up, think, what would Sage say if I said that to him? What would Sage say if I was that cruel to myself? He would say, well, I would say, <laughs> you don't deserve those kinds of thoughts. You are not annoying and you are not weird. I won't hear any more argument in that direction. You are a lovely human being deserving of empathy and compassion. That is what you are and that is what you will always be. No matter what you've done, no matter what you do, you will always be this. Now, in order to help you finally take that idea in, I want you to look deep into my eyes. See the swirling, spinning colors. Good. Good. Breathe, dear one. Breathe. You often get so caught up in your own head that you forget to breathe, that you forget to feel yourself as a participant in the universe. Now I want you to become the center of yourself, not an outward projection of other people's thoughts of you, but an inwards affirmation of what and who you are, which is fundamentally good. We may make mistakes. We may stumble, but that doesn't matter. You are a being in this universe, and as all beings deserve, there is forgiveness, there is love, there is compassion. Your mistakes are not as great as you think they are. Your follies are not as evil as your brain tells you they are. In fact, I'm quite certain you're a good person. That sounds odd to hear to you, doesn't it? That you are a good person. 
Because I think deep down within your head, you don't think you are, which is utter nonsense. I want you to think positively about yourself. I think negativity in its own way can be addictive because in the gray days that pass over us one after another, any feeling can be delicious in its own right. Feeling negativity is still feeling something, isn't it? And that feels better than the lack of anything. But no, no, that's not true. That's what the negativity wants you to think. I want you to take refuge in positivity. I want you to take pleasure in little things. I want you to take pleasure in being you. Whoever that is, whoever you want that to be, you are whoever you want to be. And that is a fundamentally good person, which you already are. So, you're on the right track, aren't you? Now, I want you to take an idea from your mind. This idea is the idea of me. Because, as someone with empathetic abilities, I am an idea. And what you think of me shapes me, helps me to exist. I want you to take that idea, and I want you to press it down small. Take a moment. Concentrate. Think of a deep pull from within your body. A kind of gently forceful push downwards. Think about this and think about me. I'm going to slither a coil around your neck. Not firm, not tight, just a gentle solid weight around your shoulders, like a shawl or a scarf. There we are. Remember to breathe. As you feel this weight, Continue to compress that idea. Down, down, down. Very good. <laughs> Very good. Now, as you think about this idea, as you make it small and portable, I want you to think positively about yourself. This can be hard, depending on how cruel your brain can be to you in the day to day. I want you to think something nice about yourself. And as you try to do this, I think your brain will only supply negatives. Think about saying those negatives out loud to me. Think about what I would say if I heard you think, Oh, I'm ugly. You're not. Oh, I'm stupid. You're not. Oh, I'm going to mess that up. You won't. And even if you do, you can try again. You are a being in this universe. You deserve love and compassion. You are here with me. And I am coming with you. I'm going to bring you up now. And as I do, I want you to think about me. I want you to put my idea somewhere. Somewhere where it's easy to access. A shirt pocket, perhaps. The pocket of a skirt or some pants, a purse, a backpack, or simply around your shoulders. I can be whatever size would be comfortable for you. I could be small enough to wind around your finger. I could be large enough to drape myself about your shoulders. I can be anything that you need me to be. You will be the only one who is able to see me. I will phase in and out of your day as we go about. Whenever those thoughts come back, I want you to think what I would reply to them. And then I want you to take that as truth. And I want you to think that way about yourself. We're going to spend the day together, you and I. And you are going to think about yourself as a good, deserving person because you deserve to think of yourself that way. And I know that that's hard. And I know that you're so out of practice, but we're going to fix that. So, once you have that idea in your head, I want you to take a deep breath. 
there you go. There you go. I want you to press down those anxieties, and I want you to press back those negative thoughts. You're going to do great today. We're going to do great today. And I want you to, after today, even when I'm not there, internalize the kinds of things I might say, the kinds of things you might need to hear, and I want you to practice telling them to yourself, affirming yourself, and existing as a positive presence to yourself. Now, I know that the world can seem dark, but you are a light in that darkness, and your light helps others. Someone is thinking of you right now. Someone cares about you right now. I care about you right now. Keep that in mind as we go out and face the day. Come up fully. <laughs> here I am, exactly where you put me. I'll be here for the whole day. I'll be here to banish those thoughts. Come on now. You're gonna do great. <laughs> Let's go.